Hello, I'm Kathy Walsh. Thank you for joining us. A Colorado woman has joined a lawsuit claiming Johnson & Johnson's baby powder caused her ovarian cancer, and now she wants to warn other women. Michael Abeda is live at Rose Medical Center with her story. Michael? Yeah, when Nancy Wright's doctor told her that she had ovarian cancer, she was shocked. She doesn't drink, she doesn't smoke, and she doesn't live what she calls a promiscuous lifestyle. It wasn't until she got her pathology report that she even had a clue as to how she may have gotten it. Nancy Wright is packing up for a move. I can't afford to stay here anymore. I'm moving in with a friend. She lost her job after she was diagnosed with ovarian cancer in April of 2017. She had a tumor that needed to be immediately removed. However, when he got in there, he could see that I had tumors everywhere throughout my abdomen. She needed much more surgery than expected, plus six weeks of chemotherapy. During that time, I received the pathology report in the mail, which indicated some unusual fibers or debris in my ovarian tissue, which I later learned were consistent with those found in the women who developed ovarian cancer from using the baby powder. It turns out Nancy isn't alone. She's now one of 9,000 women suing Johnson & Johnson, claiming that using their baby powder on or near their reproductive organs led to ovarian cancer. The pathologist pretty much confirmed that this fiber we're seeing in your ovarian tissue is not normal. In St. Louis this week, a jury awarded billions of dollars in damages to 22 women who also sued Johnson & Johnson for giving them cancer. Johnson & Johnson said they remain confident that their products do not contain asbestos and do not cause ovarian cancer. It never would have dawned on me that this could be what would change my life. Nancy says she didn't sue for money. She's doing it so that other women can be aware. I just want other women to be, think about this and to be careful. Now, thankfully, these days, Nancy is cancer-free. She's just trying to rebuild her life. She set up a fundraising page. If you'd like to help her out, go to cbsdenver.com. We'll post a link there. In Denver, Michael Aveta, covering Colorado First.